Good morning and welcome to the Sunrise with Jesus. We are at the beginning of a day. And do you remember the beginnings of your life on this earth? Every one of us had our beginnings in the womb of the mother. And the first sounds we heard was the heartbeat of the mother. We were created to be close to the mother. Now let us look at Jesus. When God the Father sent his only begotten son into this world, the saints say the world was unworthy of receiving him. So God the Father placed his only begotten son in the womb of Mother Mary. The first sounds that Jesus heard was the heartbeat of Mother Mary, her pure heart beating for the love of God. Throughout the life of Jesus, Jesus lived out the heartbeat of the Father. And finally, at Calvary, as a parting gift, as a precious gift, he gave his mother to John, the beloved disciple. Jesus was very careful about whom he entrusted his mother to. He gave his mother to that disciple who always chose to be close to the heart of Jesus. Mother Mary was given to a grieving disciple in the darkest hour of his life. No wonder Pope Francis prays this way, Mother, be close to us, especially when we are faced with death, with darkness and apparent defeat. Mother Mary was given to the church to teach the church to go in the way of purity and holiness. Now friends, what is purity? Many of us understand purity or impurity merely in the sense of our fleshly desires. But in fact, purity is single-mindedness. Purity is having one goal. It begins with me solely seeking God for who He is and not merely for what he can do. Very often, I do what God wants because I want God to do what I want. But Mother Mary shows us purity that made our heart so immaculate, that makes this day a celebration. Purity is to seek God's will because he is God and we want his will to be done. Purity is a struggle for us because we always struggle with a dichotomy. We want to be holy, but we also want to keep spaces for our earthly, our ungodly, our unloving, our unforgiving motives. And here is where we need to lean on Mother Mary. As we lean on the heart of Mother Mary, as we venerate her immaculate heart today, our hearts will begin to beat with her heart. She will hold us as she held Jesus. As we listen to the purity of her heartbeat, our hearts will seek Jesus and Jesus alone. As we listen to this beautiful message, may we be drawn to Mother Mary. May we as her children inherit her purity, her love, her seeking of God. A teacher was explaining to her second standard students about what is a magnet and the various functions and the properties and uses of a magnet. After she had explained to the class about the properties and the uses of magnet, the following week she conducted a test, a class test for these children on that same topic of magnet. And so one of the questions of this test was like this. My name has got six letters. It begins with M. I am used to pick up things. I am used to attract things. Who am I? This was the question that was placed before the children. And the children had to write the answer to this particular question. When the teacher conducted the test and after she got back all the answer scripts, she was surprised to see more than half the children had written a different answer than what she expected. The question was, my name has got six letters, begins with M, 
I am used to pick up things and also attract things. Who am I? The expected answer was magnet. But to the surprise of the teacher, the children, many of them had written the answer. Do we want to make a guess? The answer was mother. In the experience of the little children, the mother was a person who was used to pick up things and also they themselves, when they would fall down, a mother would pick them up. Also, a mother in the experience of the little children was a person who was able to attract people to herself with her motherly care and affection. In our Christian lives, God has blessed all of us with the most beautiful mother, Mother Mary. Gospel of John, chapter 19, verse 27, we read, While Jesus was hanging on the cross, looking at his beloved disciple, he would tell him, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. It was at the cross that Jesus would entrust the disciple, his own mother, as a gift so that mother who had taken care of him in his life would now take care of the disciples and thus all who would be the future disciples of Christ. All of us are blessed with this beautiful mother, Mary. Do we recognize the value and the importance of our Blessed Mother in our life? We know in our own human experiences, a mother evokes so many good and touching emotions. A mother is lovable, someone who cares, someone who is willing to sacrifice even her life for the sake of her children. Think of the many times when mothers stay up late night so that her children could be seen to be studying or sometimes when the children are coming late home, she would stay up late night. How many are the times when you have seen mothers would say, I am not feeling hungry when the food is less and she wants to give to the children. If such is the experience that all of us have with our own earthly mothers, how much more does our heavenly mother Mary love all of us? Our Christian lives, God has wished and will that we should not walk alone. Rather, we should hold the hands of our Blessed Mother and like little children who feel safe and secure in the presence of their mothers, let us also hold the hands of our Blessed Mother Mary and walk with her joyfully and boldly in the path of Christ. Yes, Mother Mary is that beautiful magnet who attracts people towards herself and would also pick up all of us from our own lowly spiritual lives. Let's run to Mama Mary. Let's always remain in her embrace. And when we do that, Mother Mary would take care of us. Like the beloved disciple who took Mary to her home. Today, let us also take Mother Mary to our own homes. May God bless all of us through the heavenly intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Live Jesus. The Word of God reminds us to keep our eyes on things above. Dear friends, on this day, it is good for us to reflect where we keep our eyes on for most of the time. Is it on things of the world, on the problems, on issues around us. Here, this day is a reminder for us to raise our eyes to the purity of the heart of Mother Mary because what we contemplate is what we shall begin to mirror. As we look on the heart of Mother Mary, we are set on the way of purity. I now invite you to see this presentation that gives us a bit of a background on the wealth of the feast of today, the feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mother Mary. The Immaculate Heart of Mary refers to the interior life of the Blessed Virgin Mary, her joys and sorrows, her virtues and hidden perfections, and above all, her pure love 
for God the Father, her maternal love for her son Jesus and her compassionate love for all people. Devotion to Mary's Immaculate Heart is scriptural. Countless saints had a devotion to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. Saint Leo said that through faith and love she conceived her son spiritually even before receiving him into her womb. And Saint Augustine says that she was more blessed in having born Christ in her heart than in having conceived him in the flesh. Devotion to the heart of Mary began in the Middle Ages with Saint Anselm of Canterbury and Saint Bernard of Clairvaux. It was practiced and developed by Mechtilde, Gertrude the Great and Bridget of Sweden. Saint Bernardine of Siena is sometimes called Doctor of the Heart of Mary. Saint Francis de Sales speaks of the perfections of this heart, the model of love for God and dedicated his Theatimus to it. Saint John Eudes was known for his continuous preaching on the hearts of Mary and our Lord. He composed masses and offices for liturgical celebration. Pope Pius XII instituted the Feast of the Immaculate Heart in 1944. Saint Pope John Paul II consecrated the world to Mary's Immaculate Heart in front of the miraculous statue of Our Lady of Fatima later in the year 2000. John Paul again entrusted the entire world to Mary's Immaculate Heart at the start of the millennium. Pope Francis consecrated the world again to the Immaculate Heart in the year 2013. As we celebrate this beautiful feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mother Mary, we have a prayer which reveals to us how precious is the heart of Mother Mary for every one of us, her children. And this prayer is by Mother Teresa. It goes this way, Mary, give me your heart, so beautiful, so pure, so immaculate. Your heart, so full of love and humility that I may be able to receive Jesus in the bread of life and love him as you love him. Dear friends, this is a need of every one of our hearts. For us to receive Jesus, we need to walk the way of Mother Mary. We need to walk in her way of purity. And believe me, like any mother, she wants it for us more than we can ever want it for ourselves. As we proceed into the Eucharistic adoration, let us ask Mother Mary to go with us, to pray with us, to help us look at Jesus and to receive Jesus and to love Jesus as she loves him. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you working, standing here in the midst of all. Take your place. Come, Lord Jesus, and
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe. I believe. It is you. It is you. You are come to us. You are come to in us. In the form of bread. In the form of bread. As you promised. As you promised. You are come to us. You have come to in us. In the form of bread. In the form of bread. I believe. I believe. It is you, O oh Lord. It is you, O oh Lord. Who are come to us. Us you come to in us. the form of bread. In the form of bread. Two thousand years ago. Two thousand years you ago. You came to us. You came to us. In the form of man. In the form of man. You went about. You went about. healing everyone. Healing everyone. You went about. You went about healing the sick. Healing the sick, the lepers, the lepers, the blind, the blind, the paralyzed, the paralyzed. You went about, you went about, you went about, you went about, touching, touching, and healing, and healing. The mercy of God, the mercy of God, poured out, poured out through you, O oh God, through you, O oh God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are come today. You are come to today. pour out, to pour your out compassion, your compassion, your power, your power into our body. Our body. We are waiting for you. We are waiting. For you. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. We are waiting for you. You. We are waiting. Sick that we are. Sick that we sad are. Sad that we are. Sad that we broken are. Broken that we are. Open that we are. We are waiting for you. We are waiting. For Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us tell Jesus, if you want, you can heal me. Let us say it. Let us say it with great, with great faith in our hearts. He's the Lord. He's our God. He's our Savior. He's, he's the one who died. Loved you and me so much. He died for us. We trust in Him. We trust in Him because He died for us. So much He loves you and me. We want to look at his face and tell him, if you want, you can heal me. If you want, you can heal me, Lord. I believe in your love. I believe in your power. Jesus, Lord, I know. If you want, you can heal me alone. 
Dear friends, we are blessed to launch out during this day. And here is a beautiful cue to ensure that the sunrise with Jesus becomes a brilliant day with Jesus. And this is a little piece of advice from Mother Teresa. She says, if ever during your day you are distressed, say the simple prayer to Our Lady. And you just have to pray, O oh Mary, Mother of Jesus, be a mother to me now. And Mother Teresa testifies, this prayer has never failed her. O oh Mary, Mother of Jesus, be a mother to me now. God bless you and have a beautiful, blessed, brilliant day with Jesus and his lovely mother holding you close to her heart. God bless you.